What's up, Dapper Squad? It's your boy Darius back at it again with some more Kuroko no Basket. Today we're doing episodes 39 and 40. Very excited to continue with probably what I assume is going to be the best uh, match of this season. Loving it so far. Love it. Love the GOM meeting uh, last episode, even though it was a little crazy. Akashi's a little deranged. Um, very excited. Now, in a couple episodes, the OVA that I was supposed to watch now that I watched a long time ago was going to happen, but it's, I already know the info and the context. It's just, I'm just going to have to re place that in just knowing that this is when it was actually originally supposed to come out but um please leave a like let me know your thoughts down below in the comments please subscribe click that bell so you guys always know when i post over here on the dapper channel check out that patreon for the full uncuts and early access up to one week or four episodes ahead everything all you need is in the description down below let's hop right on into it kuroko no basket episode 39 uh useless effort i don't like the sound of that the ignite pass I love the way this is animated. Guy, oh, I ever forgot. It was like, hook high. That's how. New opening? Ooh. Okay. Okay, GOM members. Is this the same band that's done a couple of the Kuroko openings? Because it sounds very similar. Ooh, look at their get ups. The winter fits. Look at the Serene voice. Oh, oh, the brothers. Oh, that was good. I, I thoroughly enjoyed that, to say the least. Ignite pass. Guy. Right? Literally right in front of you. Stop it! Kiyoshi the Iron Goat! I saw that in the opening. I saw that in the opening just a second ago. Oh yeah, the mid switch up. We're doing an audible. Come on. Hey, no, please show me anything like that again. Even more than the speed, I'm surprised by... Right? Ah, I could see that. I love the way he like hits it like that. Oh, that is so sick. That's crazy. Shouts out Wakamatsu. And we know Sakurai with the shot is insane. Sadly. Literally, because that's how talented they are, you know? N literally none. They're such a well rounded team. When you put it like that, Kasamatsu, I get it. I love how Kisei and Kasamatsu are like sh sh in the shadows when they're. That's the Demon's Gate. What kind of master did he go see in America? What kind of tricks does he have up his sleeve that we haven't seen yet? Especially when you can just carry some momentum just on and on and on, you know? Can't afford to lose it this early, you know, this pivotal moment. Anytime they do this, you know it gets me going. Okay. Made him, made him turn on the inside and then... He has an open back to Almine, but he hit a back side swipe of a steal. That was super well played on both sides. He went up, hit him with a... With a ah, but then he... Ooh. Did neither of them... Was that all pre-planned, like, in their head? Like, what was about to happen? Did, did none of that actually happen? They were just doing chess in their head for five seconds? He was trying to come up with possibilities in which he can win scenarios. Damn! <laughs> I level game back. That's like some Death Note type shit. And then he said, I lose. I would say it's wiser to realize you would lose and retreat than it is to keep going, you know? 
Yeah, losing points and losing the ball, yeah. Yeah, because then he could start getting used to it and it wouldn't be an ace up our sleeve. Sounds like a fair plan to me. Okay. He sounds pretty confident and relaxed when he says that. That's, that's what I'm glad it is. I'm glad it's the confidence is what's making him say that. Not as if he's not taking it too serious. Shouts out my boy Junpei. Not the fade away, not the back up. I love the way they're doing that like shot, that like dolly. Our secret moves. <laughs> Apologetic mushroom. The way they animate that he goes back so fast. It really is unblockable when you think about it. Just jumping straight up, you're gonna barely match him in terms of his height. But backing up as well, it's impossible to go forward that much, you know? Whoa, the intensity, I'm telling you. He forced it, didn't listen to his team. Okay, going tit for tat, Sakurai. We have a rivalry on our hands right here. Kagami and Aomine, who? Talk about Junpei and Sakurai. Yeah, we got five seconds left. We could make something work. Who is then going to... Vanishing drive. See ya! With the amazing pass over to Junpei. Buzzer beater. We're still down one, right? It was 18... No, it was 19-22. So now it's 22-22. Hell yeah. It's rare that... Not rare, but... That Kuroko wants to do something directly on his initiative, you know? So we gotta have faith in him. That is true. Important thing is to stay one step ahead no matter what. He is super good at observing the eyes, so we know that. That's that's why a second ago he looked at Kagami, confirmed he was right there, and then did the vanishing drive. Yeah, he was looking at Kagami for a millisecond, you know? And as soon as he noticed he was looking at him, that's what it was. Then he... Boom! Damn, Kuroko's insane. Not even if hell froze over. He is confident. I want to see Almine at this level, because don't get me wrong, he's insane. But I want to see high school Almine go against like a pro, like an NBA player, like an Olympic Japanese basketball player, you know? And the little guy. They didn't show Almine's face, so I'm a little nervous. His eyes are closed. I'm butthurt. This guy's, I'm butthurt. I, I, I'm, I, how, I'm butthurt. Don't tell me that's what he's doing. Cause this dude's literally unbeatable. Like what? He knows you better than anyone when it comes to basketball. And then not even a second, no hesitation, slams it in your face. That that's kind of a bar. There is no uh, shadow without a light. So the shadow cannot defeat the light. And especially Kuroko constantly trying to do this vanishing drive at the start of this quarter, trying to get them some momentum, and then it's getting shut down so hard. He's literally frozen. Wait, it's the opposite. He is turning up. Title of this episode, Useless Effort. Oh, the quick dribble pickup. That was way too clean for no reason. For no reason. Who shoots it like that? I just don't get what you do against this guy. Everything he's 
gathered all new abilities all new skills levels up everything that's been built up to this moment just literally got crumpled in front of his face Almine is just he's i don't know what factory they made him in but he's built different all that time and effort you would put in he feels literally useless a lot of the times it's kuroko giving you some words it's so i'm so glad hearing this Ooh. shouts out my boy all right new ending time to listen to it for the first time and i love how it's going through our characters their personalities and stuff so funny shouts out seirene we got himuro murasaki bara the rest of yosin they look kind of crazy that was a great ending all right on to episode 40 uh this one's called he's beside himself with joy okie dokie yeah it is a tough situation oh put your personal pride to the side do what's needed for the team yes man kagumi love this dude saving kuroko that's what i love to hear wow good pass thinks he's gonna steal it oh the fake pass kiyoshi goes right in great great layup great score don't try to push his buttons now don't push kagami's buttons yeah that pace change especially when you're used to a certain rhythm you know oh this is the small subtleties in aomine and a lot of these little characters how amazing they are it's a subtleties man that's the only thing we've heard akashi say so far he knows he's going for it hits him with the fake out yeah kind of holds him back a little bit it's kind of like deku and all might you know so as long as kuroko was an available option but he's not an available option right now he's behind Almine. In a matter of a second, look at Rico and Kagami. Look at Kuroko's reaction. As long as he has Kuroko to depend on, he'll never be able to go 100% full strength. <laughs> look at the little aura around him glowing when they say that. Like, I can't. Crazy. It's not even over, Almina. We're just getting started. Damn, he's just getting started too. <laughs> he said, You thought I was giving you an alley you Wakamatsu? Oh my god. God, get this man out of here. Oh, that was smart. Way to use the screen two times. That was like on a five head right there. No, you're a pervert, Kogane. Thank you. That's a tall task right there. That's how it always is, sadly. That guy might as well be laying down and shooting at the same time. He did not just tip that like other blocks. He smacked that fucker down. Even Midorima is a little shook. I don't know about that yet. It's still a little early to be saying that. God damn, these are some great episodes. Look at. Not even a second. Don't give me a second to breathe, why don't you? He had to fake it with his other hand. And then goes back. That's so crazy. Oh, 
Even Ima Yoshi and Midorima, two stoic people, are shook. Alex, the fucking master in America. Let me see him or her, him or her, Alex. Four seconds left in the third quarter. Two, two points behind. Over the finger. Oh, the toilet bull shot not going in. So close. Because uh, I'm assuming I mean I tipped it with that little finger. <laughs> we are down two points. That is crazy. That was such a tit for tat right there. That was so crazy. Of course, he hasn't shown all of his cards. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Uh, every time Ima Yoshi talks like this, I get so nervous. Probably the happiest he's been in a minute. Hells yeah. It is the winter time. Come on, Mr. Kuroko. ただ風に当たりに来たわけでもないだろう。鏡君はバスケは好きですか?本当。この試合僕はどうしても勝ちたい。桃井さんとの約束ももちろんありますが、本音はただ見たいんです。もう一度。M smile. And now that passion is dwindled out. That's a fair goal to have. And then seeing, I don't mean to pause it, but having this and then going into the OVA 41.5, I can see how it fucking fits perfectly. I'm such an idiot, guys, not watching it when it was close to be, but it's such a good background story. I love their story. That's facts. Speaking truths right now, my boy. My man Kagami. I don't like I don't know if Kagatora was right in saying he's matured. My man is hitting all notes of dope character levels right now. Like, oh, can't even can't even begin to describe. Yeah, this man is ready. Second half, Imayoshi has been hyping him up, so let's see it. And Kuroko is stepping back on, baby. Kagami's awakening. I love what it's called. Still not enough. We need that little push. Not that it matters. Let me just give the ball to Almine. I'll go sit back and get me a nice cold refresher. Almine will handle the rest. He didn't even notice Kuroko. He drew a charge. Shouts out Kuroko. You guys know each other the best. Oh, yeah. And I literally look away for a second. Kuroko's fucking gone. Great redirect. Whew. I love the way they animate that. <laughs> Sounds good. Maybe not a Kai one, but at least the normal Ignite path. Yumiyoshi is a great, like, observant person, captain, you know? He's a great strategic mind. Yeah, it was a good fake over to Wakamatsu. Okay, leads back in their favor. I mean, don't get me wrong. I did not think this was going to be any, you know, any easy match. I'm still expecting a crazy challenge. What are they doing? Why did everyone just freak like that? They, they switched marks? Imayoshi on Kuroko. Kagami 
You might be able to out maneuver out smart Kuroko. Imayoshi is kind of intimidating, I won't lie. Don't end no. Ah. <sighs> great, great episodes. I can totally see how the flashback OVA fits in perfectly with Kuroko and Aumine right here. I might rewatch it on my own time just to re get context and re, re get that vibe, you know? Shouts out to Kuroko's Ignite Pass Kai. I love how they said it uses that rotation to add so much perpetual momentum onto it, you know? It went through Aumine's block, but then him canceling it, like, oh my god, like, it's, I love it so much. Um, so shouts out to the Ignite Kai. Shouts out to Kagami reaching his full potential. I love how Rico's dad mentioned that, you know, how he stated it, like, as long as he relies on someone, that reliance is gonna somewhat hold him back to unleash his full potential, which he was able to go, and obviously we still haven't even reached Aumine's full potential. He's so broken, it's crazy. But Kagami was able to get some crazy shit done. I loved watching it. I thoroughly did. Uh, I need to know more about Alex, who Himuro mentioned. You must have gone and see Alex. You must be desperate. Or like, that's great. Like, I love it. Oh, we're getting into some crazy matches. We're getting close to the end of season two. And then we have season three. And then we have a movie. Oh, the show is so fantastic. Hopefully you guys are enjoying it. If you are, please leave a like. Let me know your thoughts down below in those comment sections. Make sure you guys subscribe. Click that bell so you guys always know when I post over here on the Dapper channel. Don't forget to drink some water. Tell someone you love them. Have a great day, Dapper Squad. Peace out.